Yes, right here. Hey, let's go to let's go to the castle. That seems like a good plan. And if I can get into a position to land. Yo, I'm here rocking some princesses. Let's uh How about a nice free heal? How about that? Yes, we would like to rest. Thank you. And now we get a second scene here, now that we've encountered King Taiku. Nice little touching scene between the princesses. Normally I don't like to talk over these kind of touching little moments or tragic scenes, but since the last episode got content ID'd when I didn't, I'm not taking the chance anymore. So I apologize for potentially ruining a scene like this, but I would rather the video contain the music and my voice than neither at all. And there we see little Faris, also known as Sarissa. Funnily enough, in the PS1 version that I've been playing, her name is Salsa, which seems like a fairly obvious mistake, because Salsa is something very, very different. Ah, look at little baby Lena. Isn't she adorable? Don't try to bring mechanics into the actual story. You'll just confuse yourself. Yes, she is late. Because she somehow moved a bed. Something we've never been able to accomplish in moving a static item. Now the real question though, is this is like the guest room. Doesn't Lena have her own room? Over by the king's room? Fairly sure. Oh well. No use thinking about that. Though my question wasn't why is the party sleeping here, my question is why was she putting Lena here, if Lena has her own room. That's what I don't really get. Anyway, I'm pretty sure I already cleared this place out of items, since this is where we got the healing staff. Speaking of which, let's re-equip that before I forget. Healing staff. Which money do I have? I should restock on rods. Seems like it would be a good thing to do while we're out. Where is Karnak? Um... Where exactly am I now? I don't have my bearings. Okay, there's Jackal. So, Karnak is this way. And there's the library. Karnak! Need them rods. Okay, we still got five flame rods, that should be fine. Let's go back up to five of those. And I'm going to buy an extra few of these because they're going to be very useful very soon. Now, what do I have that I can sell? Eh, we can sell the mithril glove. Hang on to the ribbon. Yeah, I can throw that away. And we can toss a plumed hat. Silver plate, frostbow. Uh, hang on to the Ashura, that might be useful still. And sell the shurikens. Not that they sell for much. Hang on to all the drinks. 
Uh, anything a little further down? Indeed. But nothing particularly great. Let's go have a quick look at the item shop. Which we should honestly do in Licks, but what I need to check is Phoenix Downs. Which, funnily enough, Licks doesn't sell. Right, it's in the inn. What am I doing? Oh, no, that was right. Hello. Give me some Phoenix Downs, please. Might not be a terrible idea to farm up some money while I'm here. But I don't quite feel that it's necessary. So we're gonna just move on. Back to Crescent. We must visit my fellow nerds. Deliver this precious adamantite. If I can actually line up with... There we go. That is not easy to do with an analog stick. I like how you guys always just come to me. That's pretty handy. There you go, there's your rock. Or metal. Whatever it is. Now oh, finally we get to take a break. We've been doing all the work around here. I am more than happy to take a break. And this is how nerds go Super Saiyan. More or less. No, oh, how coincidental. Indeed, didn't you see? There were like three of each of them. It was amazing. Sid, what exactly is an A button? No one's going to question that. Yes, yes, floating city. We know. They've got cannons. I can deal with cannons. The only issue I have with the cannons is they're weak to lightning. But I don't want to break thunder rods. At least not on the smaller cannons. But let's worry about that bridge when we cross it. I land right about here. I just want to go down and get a quick save. Everybody's fully healed. That's good. Now let's head on up and see how we can deal with the cannons. So yeah, there's just explosions all over the sky. There we go. Can the cannons be confused? Okay, that kinda hurt. Okay, we cannot confuse the cannons. How much HP do the cannons have? I feel like that's an important question. Decent amount, looks like. Eh, yeah, heal for us. Can the cannons be stopped? Okay, the song played, that makes me believe they can be. But... I'm not entirely convinced by the fire coming out of them. We can try it again, I guess. No, the songs don't always work, but the fact the animation plays makes me believe it is at least possible. Uh, heal Lena. Keep punching. Yeah, these things have quite a bit of HP, it seems. Uh, let's get a mighty march out. That should help with the healing. But it looks like the stop might have worked. 
which is pretty convenient. Since now we can just punch our way through the cannons. Oh, that one, that one's active. I guess stop isn't permanent. Alright, good hit for us. Really, really showed it. Alright, cannon down! Get Lena healed back up. Um, yeah, let's have you try to stop it again, just to keep damage at a minimum. Also speeds things up a little, because it doesn't take turns. Eh, Galif, heal yourself. Eh, you can defend for a turn. Attack. Cast speed. I'm not even entirely sure what speed does. Just do it. Cast stop again. More punching. These might actually be worth breaking the rod on just to speed up the battles. So I can always go get more money for more rods. Obviously I'm not going to do it in this battle since I've already put so much damage on this one. There we go, that one's down. Speed shakes. Sure, why not? Okay, let's defend. I want to see how long this takes just by breaking a rod. They really focus fired Gallif there. And item swap to Thunder Rod. Now break Thunder Rod. Okay, that did not kill either of them. Please don't hit Gallif. You hit Gallif. Ah, uh, well, they gotta be close to death at this point. Or not. Okay. Let's get Gallif back up. Come on, old man. On your feet. How much HP do these things have? Um... I guess we keep trying to stop it so that it can't do anything. Galif needs to re-equip the healing staff. Like so. Give himself a nice heal. And just make sure it stays stopped. Galif can defend. There's no sense wasting MP or anything. Okay, so... It would seem... That one Thunder Rod is not enough to kill... The cannons. That's kind of disappointing. Now these are rocket launchers rather than flamethrowers. And apparently they can confuse... So, can we... Any chance I can heal Lena and get her out of Confuse? Oh my gosh, that worked. Very surprised by that. Let's try to keep some stop applied. Eh, nobody really needs it. I guess we can... Well, whatever. Not that big of a deal.
Yeah, I can see the monks starting to weaken here. Perhaps it's worth considering giving them focus back, since Caliph is a pretty strong healer. That would at least give me higher damage output. Yeah, yeah, keep, try to keep them stopped. There's not really much else to do here. Uh, cast haste on Bart's. Getting those extra attacks in could be a difference maker. Uh, also cast haste on Lena. Throw out another stop. Keep on punching. There's not much else for you to do now. It's definitely giving them much, much faster turns. Yep, almost had an accidental defense there. That one's got to be close now. There we go. Okay, got some more iron drafts. Hmm. What kind of strategy can we do here? Yes, let's drop chakra for focus. And we will do the same for Bart's. We have one more cannon. Another set of flamethrowers. Immediately trying to burn Lina. Need to knock that off. And of course I straight off forgot to use focus. Not quite time for that yet. We need to actually get them stopped. Because we have damage to deal with. There we go, that's much better. Make sure they stay stopped. Let's get a haste out on Bart's. Yeah, that's making this much faster. Let's get a haste out on Lena. Very nice. And now we just sit back and watch. Galif has done his job. Okay, that should be all the cannons down. Except for... perhaps... the gigantic one. Alright, this one's going to require a little shift in strategy. How do I get down from here? Oh, I just fly off screen, that's right. So we're going to have us a little stop by Crescent. Rest up at the inn, get all that MP back. And we're going to vary up the party just a tad. We will be switching Lena to be a second time mage. Eh, she can have chakra, that's fine. She has no equipment. Kind of needs to be fixed. A little difficult without the money. Shift her to the back row. And just make sure everybody's pre-equipped with thunder rods. 
There's one. There's the other. That's the healing staff. Thunder Rod. I would very much like to get her some equipment. Okay, so before we face the Soul Cannon, I am going to stop the recording here. Go get a little bit of money. <laughs>